I think my machete needs to be sharpened. Okay, I want to prove to you that this machete is dull. This is a Tramatina 18 inch machete made in Brazil. It's out of 1070 steel, high carbon steel. Yeah, and it's not, I mean, it's, it's got an edge, it's just not, yeah, so it's not sharp. And we are gonna make it razor sharp. What I like to use is a file, a Nicholson 10 inch. You could use an eight inch. You want this type right here. You don't want the other types. So this is just a Nicholson all purpose file with the edges going one way, right? You can see that they're the same on both sides. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add light pressure and depending on the machete's grind, right, this Tramatina actually has quite a good bevel right there. The grind is, uh, you know, pretty good. So I'm gonna follow that basically like this, right? Light pressure, and you just gotta feel the machete and the file, you know, uh, as they go together, you can re you feel the material being removed. It's just kind of a kind of a touch thing, right? Hope that's a good angle. You just just have it like that. You know, follow the grind. You could, you know, make a a, a secondary bevel, but you don't have to. And I'm not going to follow the grind completely. Right, because I would be removing a lot of material. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make this into a convex edge or a tapered convex bevel edge, whatever. Because <laughs> we are going to strop it to remove all the burrs and the imperfections that the file causes. Now, a good thing to do is check with your fingernail along the edge to see if it is rolled because if you put too much pressure on it it will roll the edge typically machetes are not hardened uh, like knives they're typically a little bit softer so they're easy to sharpen in the field and a lot of times these latin style machetes or these machetes in general will come without an edge. The philosophy behind that is you're gonna sharpen it anyway, so you might as well know how to put an edge on it. Uh, now, I've rolled this edge right here. You can kinda of hear that when my, my fingernail catches. So I'm just gonna come lightly on the other side with the file, just keep that edge. Just a fluid, consistent motion, not too much pressure. Just make sure you're just taking off enough uh, to make a, a sharp edge. Now, if there was some damage, like let's say right here, let's say some chipping or something, you could you know, really get it real good, right? And then get those chips out and then straighten the edge completely. But since this is just dull, I don't have to worry about you know, getting any chips uh, out of the, the blade because a lot of times you hit rocks when you use a machete, especially in the jungle. So you just keep that motion, that very simple, very easy. These files are ten dollars, and you can get the smaller ones if you want to go backpacking. Um, oh, see, I got myself with the file. Okay, it's it's better, it's sharper. Right, but we want to make it razor sharp and get those burrs out. And you can run it through a piece of wood. Uh, for instance, this is the paddle that I'm going to use. It's this paddle strop, and you can go like this, and that'll get most of the burrs out. Now this blade is ready for the yard or homestead. Right, you could. You know, survive in the jungle with this edge. It's great, it's perfect. But for someone that wants to be able to shave with their machete 
or do really, really fine, you know, detailed work, you're gonna wanna strop it. And hold on a second for that. I'll get the strop set up. The main point about the strop is you don't want to have it too high because you'll dull your blade. You wanna have it to where it's almost cutting, right, and then back it down a little. Okay, so watch this. Bring it up like that, almost cutting, back it down, slow, steady, smooth motion. Same thing on the other side. Bring it up to where it's almost cutting, back it down. Almost cutting, back it down. Slow, steady strokes. And <clears throat> it's sometimes it's hard, and especially, you know, I'm kind of filming and showing you. But let's see if this is sharp. So I just strapped it a little bit, and that'll get the burrs out. And you saw that I ran the blade through a piece of wood initially to get the initial burrs out, but strapping really just finalizes the edge and makes it a convex edge. So let's see. Okay, seems pretty sharp. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say that's a sharp machete. Let's see how it shaves. Okay, Let's see if I can get this in the camera. <laughs> right there. Okay, uh, yeah, that's kind of a sharp machete. Let's see, how about this part of the edge? Okay, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, this is uh, a sharp machete. Ooh. Yes, uh, yeah, so um, there you go, uh, uh, sharp. Sharp, sharp machete. Now you don't necessarily have to have your machete that sharp. Um, it's actually, um, you know, it might be a little dangerous. Um, but they always say, right, a sharp blade is a safe blade, right? So I don't know. I hope you liked this video. I hope it helped you out. Please comment for any questions. I love all the questions and comments, and I'll try to respond to them all. And I thank you for the like. I thank you for the subscription. Make sure you hit the bell symbol until uh and when you get notifications when i upload a video and you can watch it and tell me what you think and until next time hello